Oh, hey. Rude. Excuse me. Come on. Okay, so that was a thing. And there's more coming somewhere, but I don't have red dots to help me. So, like, was there anything there? I don't think there was. You know, let's, uh, let's left hand rule this. Oh my! Eh, stay back, you stupid thing. I got so many of these. Guess they'll never learn. Ha! Ah. Dangerously cheesy. Well, that was a thing. Okay. Uh, so is there anything of actual anything around here? It was just a fight. Unless I can go up here. It doesn't look like it, though. Nope. Okay, well, that was... An interesting diversion that allowed me to dispose of some of my excess throwables. So I only have a million left instead of a jillion. Been observing you for a while now. <laughs> and? Just wondering if I can bring you in alive. I'd get a higher reward, you know. Well, you can't. Damn shame, I'd say. You know, the rule in Shadowrun is geek of the mage first, but that's harder when the mage can just make a force field. Really? He gets iframes? And healing. There you go, you're all alone, buddy. Jerk. Oh look, it's another arrest warrant. I bet it says the same thing as the last arrest warrant that I got. Do to do. Yeah. I don't know why it's a quest item. But on we go. Unless that was it, and we only went the only way we could. No, there's a giant glowy thing here. And some people. Hello, people. Hello, yes. Oh, blasted. 
Are you guys just chilling? Hello, damn it. Salutations. <sighs> Is there like a reason that you're here? Like, does one of you have a name? Oh, blast it. There's this giant magical barrier or something that one would think maybe you would do something about. Wow, where did they go? I just got myself lost in a circle somehow. Oh. I am so smart. Right, so does that mean there are more bodies to burn around here? Question mark? Where does this link up to? Okay. Is that one different? I think that one's different. It has no text. Okay, one would think that there'd be more bodies that way. Okay, but I guess I've explored that whole thing. I got a closed loop, so that's a good thing. That's a body. Whoop, that's a rod fiend. Great, I'm stuck on burned corpses and he's standing there. Will you catch on fire? No. Will I catch on fire? I hope not. Okay, let me do the burned corpses thing. Whoa. Hey, I found everything. Eventually. And by found, I mean stumbled upon. You look like a person. Nope, you're not a person. Square coins and that barking tournaments. Now that's a pastime for real men. Yeah. I'm here about the Rodfiend contract. What about it? I did it. Have rotted for good. Well done. We lost many patrols to them. Here's your reward. What do I get? I have no idea what I get because I was put into a fire. Relics, artifacts, trinkets, and talismans. Oh, it's you. Hallowed and highly valuable. I found footprints at Sabrina's execution site. Do you know anything about that? Why would I? You found them, not me. Yet your boots are black from ash. Shh. All right. What do you want to know? Do you remember the sorceress Sabrina? Same as all the others. Look like a young nympho, but an old hag inside. You want to talk about her? See that freak who burns candles? Do you remember the so same as all the other? So that was the same. Did you see Sabrina's execution? Sure I did. I was in the fifth company. I remember the commotion when that idiot Yahon killed her with a spear. Ah, uh, if only I had that spear now. You know Yahon well? He despises me now, but things used to be different. We were called up at the same time. We fought under Hensel together. But I managed somehow while he hated it. Why did they send him to that ferocious battle? He was the worst dumbass in the entire army, but he outlived the best soldiers. Covered in shit, piss, snot and tears, and still he survived. He cracked when they burned Sabrina. 
a beautiful end to a fucking beautiful day. Then he went to the dogs. He pissed away all he had on drink. I was the fool who followed him and brought everything he pawned around the inns. That's how I got the spear. I know you have the spear Jahan used to pierce Sabrina's heart. I told you about that. And I thought the old freak was trying to forget the sins of his past. I need that spear. Tough luck, Witcher. I last saw it a few years back. What happened to it? Look how similar we are. You want knowledge, I want coin. And we both need help to get what we want. Ugh. What are your customary takings on a contract? I'll gladly accept but one half of that. Tell me about her. Mind control. After all, business is going well. You see, when Yahan lost his head for Sabrina, I bought the spear from the innkeeper. The donkey's ass pawned it in the inn. He drank like a fish. By then, Yahan had already hidden in the hills where no one dares to venture. Some call him the visionary, but in my book, he's just a nutter. Beats me why the beasts don't attack him. A fisherman who supplies the canteen said that some monsters hate the smell of fish oil. Yahon makes candles out of it. What did you do with the spear? Sorry to say I lost it in a dice game. No. Today, it'd fetch a good price. I don't want to do dice. A soldier who later fought the squirrels in the forests of the Pontar Valley. He told me he'd used it to kill some Scoyatel big shot. I heard the shaft cracked as if there'd been some fucking jousting tournament. The most interesting thing is, that big shot is still alive. I heard he's now with that vixen from Edern. Some frigging commander. Elves are weird creatures. Who knows, maybe he still has that spearhead. Yorveth. You know him. I'll tell you for a hundred orans. Bah! Ugh. Interesting there. Ash from the stake where Sabrina burned. Nails that fastened the wheel of death. Splinters from the wheel. I've also got some metal parts and some of the martyr's garments. Whatever your heart desires. Did he ash? No, he doesn't actually have any garments. He just has crafting supplies. But it's an opportunity to unload some of my crap. I'm gonna sell this stuff and everybody's gonna hate me and say that was stupid. Why would you do that? Okay. What do we got going on now? Wait for events. Let's get my reward from what's his face. Oh, he just magically appeared here. Awesome. Hey, buddy. The soldiers you were looking for, they got held up for a while at Sabrina's circle. Ah, oh, the idiots. To be duped by witchcraft and superstitions. I'll put them to scrubbing the latrines indefinitely. But... Uh... I thank you for bringing them back. Your reward, as promised. I heard there's a man living outside the camp known as the Visionary. Ever met him? The soldiers talk about him, but I've never seen him. If I ever do, he'll regret that he fooled my people with all those superstitions. There's a soldier by the inn selling scraps from Sabrina's execution site. I know. The damn quartermaster. This business of his muddles the minds of the soldiers. Suddenly, everyone believes a splinter in your pocket will protect you in battle. Half-wits. After what happened here three years ago, it's no surprise they're terrified. I'll tell you one thing, Witcher. In combat, I can count on my shield, my armor, and my comrades, if they still live. Many of those boys will die in Vergen even with their pockets stuffed with mystical splinters that cost a silver piece each. I want them to be afraid. When steel hits steel, I want them to be alert, damn it! If they're dumb and put their trust in rusty nails and ashes, they won't have a hope in hell. 
Did you see Sabrina's execution? Wish I could have, but only the fifth company was sent there. She deserved it. What she did to the boys. Believe me, I've seen a lot of monstrosities in my life. My brother died during a coup in Rhind when a mage boiled the blood in his veins. Also, I once saw a soldier raping a dead elf woman. But three years ago, people melted like lead. Something you can't forget, Witcher. Did you participate in the battle? I did. And I fought. But I'd rather not go into it. The spirits of those who died in battle are now in combat on that field. They kill each other and change into nasty creatures called Draugrs. Adernians, Kedwenis, even your comrades. I want to help them, but I have to know what happened during the battle. Oh, the plague. Listen then. The fighting started in the afternoon. The Dun Banner was first to attack. We were ambushed, cut off from our main unit and devastated. Bloody scouts and Sabrina Glevesig, who was supposed to mine the battlefield. By then, the battle was in full swing. Wherever you see those damned furrows, people fought there. The Adernian lines faltered a few times, but we couldn't crush them because of Selkirk. Yes, we had the visitor. They had Selkirk of Gullet, the invincible White Knight, Edern's finest swordsman. Wherever our forces gained the upper hand, he'd appear and reverse the fighting's course. Then, Vandergrift himself went into battle. He met Selkirk in the middle of the melee. It was a battle of titans. In the end, the visitor hacked Selkirk and sliced the White Knight from his head to his balls. Then, death fell from the heavens. Lumps of burning soil flew through the air. The whole valley was on fire. Damned magic of a damned witch! I owe my life to Priest Crest, our chaplain. He led me out of the battle and went back for the others. He had a medallion that protected him against fire. He led everyone out, including the Adernians. But the flames got him in the end. You mentioned the priest. A really good man. He was with us the whole time, during the march, in the barracks, and in battle, among common soldiers. Freya gave him a medallion to protect him from fire. I don't know how true that is, but he led me and many others to safety. Who has this medallion? King Henselt. I saw it once. I don't know how he got hold of it, but he definitely had it. Do I have this right? You served in the Dun Banner? Did indeed. Henselt's never commanded a fiercer group of warriors, and he never will. If not for us, there would be no victory for the North at Brenner. We carried the day. I didn't see the Dun Banner in the camp. And you won't. The unit's no more. Ensign Eckhart Hennessy carried the standard into battle for the last time three years ago. Glevesig's magic? Worse. The Adernian troops, the bastards. The Dun Banner, the pride of Kedwin, lost its standard and almost all its men. The Visitor refused to send us reinforcements when we were cut off. The Dun must prevail. It's been in worse shite than this. The Dun will be all right. Seven Adernians to each one of us. We had no fucking hope. Two hundred men went into battle and less than seventy came back. But that's not all. Only a few survived to this day. The boys couldn't handle it. Suicide, firewater, fistech. A few became highwaymen. They ended up on the gallows or in ditches. Memories can also kill you, and soldiers don't always deal with them well. I have to find that standard. I heard it lies in the catacombs neath Vergen, alongside my mates. Hey, if you're thinking of going there, I ought to give you my beaver skin cap. That's its rightful place. What happened before the battle? We forded the Pontar on the third day after the autumn equinox. The Adernians were waiting for us, formed up in a long line at the foot of those hills. I remember the banners of Wengerberg, Aldersburg, Gullet. Knights, armoured infantry, peasants, the Vergen Dwarf Regiment. All save the King. They numbered more than 5,000. 
General Vandergrift, commander of the Kedwennies, had less than 4,000, including the elite bearheads, armored troops from Ard Karaig, and the famous white foxes of the north. And ourselves, the Don Banner, veterans of Brenner, hated by the Adernians more than the plague. But above all, we had Vandergrift the Visitor. Maybe he was a bastard, but he knew war like nobody else. Were you at Brenna? Ah, yes. Caught down more black ones there than anywhere else. The Redanians were in disarray on the left when we joined the battle. Same with the Temerian regiments in the middle. We arrived just in time. Menno Cohorn commanded the Nilfgaardians. He was some leader. Even we feared him like fire, but somehow we prevailed. What happened to him afterwards? He refused to flee, died like many of us. Though no one knows who did it, and no one ever found his corpse. Thanks, Civic. <laughs> Let's go back to poker. How about not? Ugh. All right, let's do one more conversation, I guess. I don't know how it's supposed to, or bleh, I don't know what is expected of me to get the spear if Yorith has it. Is this going to be another dip over to the Scoyatel side? We'll have to sit it out like hens on their eggs until this mist lifts. It won't just disappear. Do do do. Talking to an evil bastard. Uh, none of this is about the medallion. I need magic powder to mark out the runes. Are you aware that the formula requires powdered camphor resin? I am. Then you must also know that the resin is extremely valuable. <laughs> Get Henselt to pay you. I need the powder to do the exorcism, reverse the prophecy, and release him from the curse. You should have said, I'll give you as much as you need. Thanks, on the King's behalf. I have one more thing you might find useful. What's that? You asked me for protective runes. I've done better. Take this grimoire, which details many. I believe there's even one for syphilis. I've marked my recommendations. Thanks. Um, uh, let's ask about that. A lot about the Wild Hunt, as one of the reigning majesties among mages. Uh, I simply cannot concern myself with folk tales about corpses flying about on intensely emaciated steeds. The Wild Hunt's no myth. Uh, have you spoken to the king yet? Indeed, he was delighted to hear he can be cut from the curse. Great because I need the medallion of the priest known as Crest. I heard it's in Henselt's possession. <laughs> He'll give you nothing until you free him from the curse. Truthfully, I believe I understand him. You have a good chance of perishing when you confront the Drogons. Give me a break, Deathmold. The two of you are just afraid I'll leave this entire mess in your hands. Ah, that is something I do not fear at all, for I know exactly why you are here. As for the king, you may curse him and scold him and call him a fool if you wish, though it's not something I would advise. So, I guess I'm not getting that. Learn anything new about the curse? A mage on the other side of the fog is also probing the battlefield. A sorceress. How do you know? You shall know them by the fruit of their spells. Magic differs with the brain type that generates it. The female mind is simply laid out differently. It could be Triss. No, but it's someone far more powerful. It's... Megatriss. Okay, that was terrible. That was such a bad joke that I'm now going to end this episode. That's probably actually two episodes, but whatever. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, take care.